Good morning, hello and welcome. It is a fantastic Monday. I'm John RMS, otherwise known as Ace Bullion, as you can clearly see here from, well, a couple of my pieces which are being sent off very soon. In fact, well, some of them today. Um, now, today I have a really fun video. It's all about the Royal Australian Mint, which, well, thank you to the Silver Trader for sending me in these coins for review. Um, and please be sure to check out the link, of course, down below this video, where you can find a link to Silver Trader's website where he sells a plethora of coins. Also, you'll find a link to the Precious Metal Forum, which we're going to be doing a free giveaway, uh, which you've already missed out if you haven't signed in, but it's going to happen live on Thursday. And finally, you'll, you can also find a link for Ace Bullion, my own website for my own hand poured silver, such as things like this elephant. Well, this elephant is gone. Um, and of course, there's a few of my dragons. Well, I say a few, there's only two of my dragons left. They're all hallmarked by the Edinburgh Assay Office. So be sure to check that out. Have a good look. And uh, let's find out what this, uh, these coins <laughs> are all about from the Royal Australian Mint. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to be featuring two coins today um, and they're all from the Royal Australian Mint. Again, they're from the Silver Trader, so be sure to check out his link down below. Uh, here we go, this is the first one. Now, I was actually just gonna make a really short, quick video on this, but, well, here we go. It's the Warta Wildflowers. It's in one of the new series from the Royal Australian Mint. And as you can see here, it's one ounce, uh, three nines fine silver. And this is the reverse, this is the queen side, which is actually rather pleasing and nice. Um, and yeah, now we have Queen Elizabeth II, and we do have the year 2022 right there in the, the center. It's really small and it's actually incorporated really nicely into this coin. Um, the subject matter, however, I, I have to say I'm very, I'm less enthusiastic about um, because, well, it doesn't really attract to me. So that's just my warm hands. So I apologize there. Uh, it does have a denomination here of $1. Now, these are apparently widely recognizable flowers. Um, and yeah, um, I guess it is, it's well executed. You know, that's what I'm going to say. I like the mix of the high gloss the kind of mat and then the semi mat on the coins, you know, itself it is really detailed. So that much I can say, uh, as I said, subject matter, isn't something that is appealing to me because, well, I'm not really into flowers. I do love nature. Uh, but yeah, I'm just uh, I'm not sure. I like to know who's actually collecting these, um, and go from there. But anyway, this is the first of, the few coins that I'm going to show you, well, it's the few, you'll see why. The next one is, well, we're going to go back, way back. Well, not really that far back. We're going to go back to 2020. And the Silver Trader has brought out, uh, or brought back, I guess, if you like, um, the Sumatran elephant. Uh, not elephant, I'm sorry, tiger. I'm, I'm losing the plot here. Again, it's from the Royal Australian Mint. We have the typical normal uh, Queen Elizabeth II, 2020. That's why I said we're going to go back. Now, he has a limited amount of these available. And, you know, I haven't done a video. I never actually done one on this first coin. I've missed out. He missed out. But he luckily managed to secure some. And, well, I, I think it's beautiful. So we're going to have a look here. There is, look at that. There is the Sumatran tiger splashing about in an awesome uh pool of water or body of water of some description we do have it says australian zoo sumatran tiger and then it says one ounce 999 silver and i'm not sure if i'm missing something there but there we go so yeah so it's just a silver ag um this is a really lovely coin. I mean, look at the detail again. The Royal Australian Mint are notorious, not, well, notorious is not the word, are famous, I guess, for their quality in detail. 
and it is something I really enjoy. I love looking at them. I don't always like all of their coins because, well, the matting or the semi mount sometimes can be problematic. Uh, however, you cannot fault them for the designs on their coins. And this is just beautiful. I mean, it's capturing a moment as if they've just caught it live in action. The Sumatran um, tiger here going through, as I said, almost kind of chest deep body of water. You can see the droplets uh, of water splashing about. Tiger's happy, I'm happy. Now, a sad fact really is that there's, these poor little guys are critically endangered. There's only about, well, 400 of them or less in the wild. Most, all the others exist in zoos. Um, and it's a real shame. And, you know, uh, going on kind of the nature theme uh, that, of course, it seems that they're promoting. <sighs> yeah, we just need to look after, the, you know, these little guys and every other animal for that matter. Now, one of uh, the other things I wanted to show you with this is that, I mean, besides having this tiger back in stock, the second coin in the series, because Silver Trader didn't just send me this coin, because I haven't been collecting it. I missed out on the first. He sent me in the second coin as well, which is the cheetah. And yeah, I reviewed this coin. I liked it, but I missed out on the first coin. So I don't, I'm not sure if these three coins are actually gonna be going back. I'm pretty sure I may have to. Oh, I said three, didn't I? Dang it, I think I just gave away the third. I may actually have to buy them off them and keep them and start off with this collection because look at this, look at these elephants. I mean, how apt was it for me to show off one of my little elephants that I made which is all Hallmark, by the way. Really cool. Really, really cool. And uh, yeah. But how apt is it for me to show off that? And of course, this is the latest one, 2022. And it is absolutely stunning. And again, you can pick these up from the Silver Traders website along with this beautiful... No, I say beautiful. I mean, it is beautiful. The subject matter is not to my, my taste whatsoever. But... It is a, a beautifully designed coin. If, if ever there was for flowers, there you go. Um, kind of from a small distance away, it actually looks like little sea turtles, which I'm not gonna get into. I won't do another plug. But there you go. Those are the two brand new, uh, well, I say brand new, uh, of course, the Sumatran elephants are brand new, uh, but the two Royal Australian Mint coins that I wanted to show you. So we have the Sumatran Tiger, and of course, the Warta Wildflowers by the Royal Australian Mint, and in fact, the entire zoo series there. So let me know if you're collecting any of these or all of these. And if you are trying to backdate and get yourself a tiger, head on over to the Silver Traders website, have a look, and tell them I sent you. Make sure you please give this uh, video a nice thumbs up, leave a comment down below. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. It does help out the analytics side. And of course, I like to know who's watching and be able to help out. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day. I'll see you on Wednesday for another epic video. Bye for now.